Hello and welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be recovering data from some SanDisk USB flash drive. It came in a bundle like this. It's a little bit of an overkill, but somebody tried to fix it before. So this unit uh, is a SanDisk flash drive. Came in with like a three meter USB cable. Uh, there are a bunch of instructions online on which wire is which, but um, more importantly, aside from the wires, uh, like you need to have precise tools to do this. I don't see major reasons uh, for not getting data here unless something got uh, fried along the lines of our memory chip. I don't think that's going to be the case here. I think that the, the memory is going to be all right. Uh, we just need to take all of this stuff, extra bulky stuff off and uh, redo all of the connections. Also, the solder that was used, it's not, it's not good. There's, like, this stuff is, you can tell it's not quality stuff. But more importantly is that where these wires are going and what are they going to do to the device. Because I could tell right there, there's a bunch of things that they were grounded out. And, uh, well, if you put power on the ground, that's... Um, your computer is not gonna like it when you plug it in. I'm gonna use this bigger um, iron for it. I'm gonna clean all this up. I'm pretty sure the board will still be reusable. Uh, to make this video a bit more interesting, I'm gonna show you uh, another alternative way. Uh, if let's say the board is shot and we cannot reuse it, things I started to uh, implement into my workflow for SanDisk USB devices. Some shrapnel here, take that out. There's going to be another piece up here, right now. So these are the leftovers from the uh, anchor joints on the USB connector that was there before. Use the wick to suck all of this stuff out. I really want to get that anchor cleaned out because I want to put a brand new connector in there and just to make this fully functional unit. Okay, so uh, now let's uh, clean up the area. This is what we end up with. Make some simple connections up here, up here. All right, so this one, we're not gonna run it back to here. We could put a wire in there but I'm just gonna loop a wire directly to this capacitor because we got five volts coming in it goes through these two holes down and they come out on this side and they go to this capacitor and this resistor so 
So here's a brand new connector. It snaps in place perfectly. So I'm gonna start with headers. Put anchor points on the back here. Grab a smaller um, tip. Um, if this wasn't so scratched around this, because this is all all ground around here, I mean, probably could have done work with it originally Let's see will work We're gonna I'll, I'll show you how I'll test uh, if the connection is valid done That one's done. And our ground point right here. That's it guys, this is final clean and we're uh, ready to fire this thing up. Before we fire it though, um, I did mention that I'm going to show you how, uh, how to test them to make sure they're first of all not in short and second of all that their connection there is, is good. So gonna grab a multimeter set it into a test mode when we hear this beep that means we got connection 
so there's the, the connector the connection is linked so this is our ground if we um, ran this wire into the ground and soldered it onto something then we would hear this noise as if we have a short on there so we're going to test header for power and the casing because it's connected to the ground we don't hear a beep they're not connected yeah we're good they're not linked so if they were we would have heard this if we're not hearing it that means they're not connected so uh, now let's just check make sure we got connection for the headers on uh, data pins so we got one big fat trace running here linked and big fat trace running here this is also linked our power is right there we can test it this way but we can also um, test it by holding one of the probes to this resistor because it's a bigger one okay and testing out the pin there that means they're connected and uh, we should have no problems running this device we'll do a USB stabilizer power on device comes up 8 gigs mounted for the readings we're getting 20 milliamps you can see it's uh, LEDs flashing it's a good sign uh, going back to our studio so the device is fixed now we can just go ahead and dump the data out let's have them side by side there's our Sandus cruiser glide look at the partition if we scroll you can see the content change amazing at this point I'll just make a clone off of it it seems like it's a full unit here so go ahead and uh, create a disk image and there it goes so it's cloning at about 20 megabytes per second and uh, it will take a little bit of time 8 gigs is not a big unit uh, 20 megabytes per second is pretty good speed for it once that image is captured we'll have all of the data inside of that image file we can unpack it and we can even send it back to the client as an image file if they prefer that way uh, but yeah the job is done here uh, this thing I wanted to show you is something that we could have used for this data recovery case if let's say uh, the board was damaged more than what we saw today the device I have right here is uh, an, an exact same board uh, that I worked on before if you um, can see the components uh, are all in the same positions uh, on the back here I've attached this um, socket that's uh, designed for TSOP48 chips that uh, kind of makes pressure connection instead of soldered you see the memory chip comes out it goes back in here we close these doors up gets locked uh, let go of my glove it gets locked in and the unit is good to go it will uh, work uh, same way so if let's say the controller was shot on this and because it got fried from something uh, surging it uh, then I would just probably remove the memory chip drop it into the socket connected and uh, the case would have been solved but right now the unit is working it's it works as if it's a brand new device we'll send it back to the customer after the case is done um, along with the data if you have any questions drop them in the comments below guys uh, if you have a flash drive that got damaged uh, feel free to check the link in the description uh, it will take you to our website where you can request a service for this this will be done for sure I mean I've done so many of these flash drives um, I lost count for sure at this point but literally into hundreds at this point a lot of these SanDisk devices have a problem with the connector so if you guys uh, are in the same jam just know that uh, the data will come back uh, it just needs 
precision other types of scenarios so can also happen but the good news is is that we can handle them as well so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next episode uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and notification button hit that so that you're notified next time the new video comes out